Patrick Ward uses technology every day at his job as an audio tech for Detroit Sports. But it's when he heads to the studio that his true creativity shines through. Here he gives us a glimpse into his chosen art forms. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to welcome y'all to my thing. <laughs> Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I started making music probably when I was 12 or 13, but the original way I got into music was my mother was diagnosed with lung cancer. When I was 10, she passed away. And before she passed away on her deathbed, she said, hey, what are you gonna do with your life? I'm not gonna be around anymore. And I said, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna be like my dad. My dad worked in a bakery, foreman in a bakery for 50 years. And she was like, I don't want you to do that. I want you to be an entertainer. And uh, I said, okay, how do I do that? She's like, you'll figure it out. I'll be there to guide you. I'm not gonna be around. And uh, thankfully enough, it worked out 30 years later. It's been a long, long battle. Uh, starting from the early 90s in Detroit, being just one of the one of the one white kids, few white kids that were allowed to enter into the inner circle of Detroit hip hop, and being accepted just because you love the music and you were true to the music. That was probably in the early days one of my most memorable things. Saying, "Man, this is history in the making right now," and none of us really knew that at that time, you know. Then making beats and working with Slum Village and Jay Dilla and working with Binary Star. We were recording an album called Waterworld and uh, Honest Expression, that's one of the songs that made me look at things differently. And another song called One Man Army. It's the one man army, general subliminal, flying through the sky, ready for war with syllables, literary, military, time secret mission, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's like a stealth jet. My mental plan where basically it's one rapper putting himself as a fighter pilot, as an aircraft carrier, as a, a German tank, all these different things that are so powerful and putting all of those entities into different metaphors and different word phrases that you can comprehend, understand and see exactly where he's coming from. It's the lyricism that, that really does it for me, along with the beat, but I'm always listening to the lyrics. Basically, all I'm doing is just sprinkling on the, the pixie dust to make sure that they shine in those moments that they need to shine in. Specific words, specific movements, specific uh, metaphors, where you drop the drums out, have a little break or something like that, and then bring it all back in, you know? Those are those moments. And honestly, how that happened for me is just being around Motown music and being around Detroit artists. Like Chuck Norris coming to get these rhymes. I got what they missing in action. Stand at attention, military fashion. What we're offering to people, you can't find that musically anywhere else in the country. I, I'm biased because I'm from here. But in my experiences, for some reason, we just look out for our own. If you're from Detroit, you can do anything. We're here at Pearl Sound. Chuck Alcasian, he's a friend of mine through uh, uh, Karen Newman, who sings the national anthem all the Red Wings games. I'm good friends with her. I said, hey man, I need a place to record some stuff or I need a place to do some stuff. He's like, man, it's all Detroit, it's all love. It's, it's that thing where you can't find that in LA. You can't just call up, hey, I'm doing this, can I come over? They're like, get out of here. And he's like, open arms, all love. It, that's Detroit. It's just that Detroit thing. It's those magical moments that happen without words spoken. Being involved in such a special thing, in such a vague thing called music, bringing people together, it's just, you can't, there's no words that can ex explain that, you know? I kind of knew how big of a deal it was, but I didn't realize how big of a deal it was until I brought the Emmys to my dad. And 
it was the first time since my mom had passed away that I had seen him cry. And he was just so proud and, and just lost it. Yeah, I was like, wow, this is really, this is something. I never expected to win any of that. I always wished and dreamed that I'd win an uh, Emmy, win a Grammy, win an uh, American Music Award, win an MTV Music Award. Because those are those things, being a young producer, a young beat maker, a young MC, you know, a young rapper coming up, you're, you're like, oh man, next year I'm gonna be platinum. Sometimes it don't work out like that. It, it's always curveballs. And it's how you step up to that curveball and hit it. Either you're gonna strike out are you gonna knock it out the park? I don't know where I'm at in between that. I just wanna make a base hit. <laughs> so if you gotta love, love. To find out more about Patrick Ward as well as all the other artists highlighted today, head to DetroitPerforms.org. Now let's check out some upcoming events happening in and around Detroit.